I've done a lot of rock really good. Lots of bugs and worms and everything in the soil. And um, Dominic has got his cute hugel beds. Are they called hugel beds? Dominic? Huh? Are they called hugel beds? Uh, yeah, hugel mounds. Hugel mounds? Hugel culture. Hugel culture. Frosty morning here. So this morning I was thinking um, I'm going to start to find some I've been scoping out some rotten wood that's in the woods. I'm gonna start pulling it out. We're thinking about what we want to do with the garden and we thought we'd draw up a little map inside. So the plan today is move that wood, get some of the rotten stuff, some of the dead fall I've seen in the, in the woods there and dead branches and maybe even the ones that I sawed off and just lay them out in the rough shape of the beds because uh, of the beds we're gonna have down the ground. We're thinking we're gonna do more of that uh, that hay style, that straw style, the root stout method. Um, and save up our cardboard and stuff over the winter. And hopefully we're gonna do like potato on the ground, our cabbage on the ground and squash on the ground. And then we're gonna just have maybe four raised beds along the front here. Um, with some trellises for beans and stuff like that. So that's the plan for now. So I guess job number one is uh, get that wood out of the way. So this is a dead tree that I, uh, as I'd seen them, I'd pile them up in certain places. I don't know if you're gonna be able to get this on camera, but somebody's been in there in a couple of places, maybe a woodpecker or something, or quite the hollow they have made in there. It goes, it goes right in, it's probably really out of focus, I don't know. But I uh, hope I'm not wrecking someone's house, but you can see all the mushrooms and growth on it. So, uh, you know, the idea is that these rotten, all the nutrients are gonna go into the soil. And I'm not gonna chop down all those trees back there. Uh, probably for another month or so, I'm gonna be starting to clear out some of those spruce because they, as you can see, cast a lot of shade here. And if this is where the gardens are gonna be, we're gonna want lots of sun, so. Uh, these should continue to rot for a while until everything freezes up totally, I suppose. Um, and yeah, hopefully we're gonna get some really good veggies out of here next year. So from here, I've kind of laid some trees out to the shape of the bed that I'm gonna make. Now I'm just gonna fill it with like branches and rotten logs and stuff that's around. If I need to use fresh stuff, I can, because It'll rot eventually too, but I'm going to try to find stuff that's already fallen down and rotten, so. I often forget to hit record again on these videos, so if there's big gaps, that's why. So, there's a good bit of this stuff around. Obviously it's got moss growing on it, it's partially decayed but not fully, so. This will retain lots of water underneath, so we're going to have all the wood underneath and then compost and cardboard and stuff over it for the uh, veggies to actually grow in and then a bunch of straw. And this should rot and provide lots of nutrients over the years and uh, also help retain water and stuff like that on dry parts of the year. This one's falling apart so much you can just barely carry it. Lots of nice mushrooms coming off them. Quite a bit of dead fall down here, so I've enlisted some help. Is it recording? That maple might be big enough to tap. What's that? I think that 
that maple might be big enough to catch. Oh yeah? to see but Dominic is cutting down dead wood so he can start his fugal culture beds up in the, the back and he told me he's going to plant potatoes in didn't last very long, did they? What are you working on now? Well, I'm going to finish filling in that side. And okay. then I might make two separated beds here. Parallel with it. See how my back feels. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with the amount of wood in there now. Lots of really good rotten stuff back there. As we keep saying, for every uh, half of a stove or transmission I find in the woods or infinite number of tires. There's also good stuff in there, like this bucked up, uh, really old wood must be, must be rotten there. It's five years probably. Um, it's like you can crumble it apart in your fingers, so that's gonna be really good. So next step now, I'm gonna just scoop up loads, loads of leaves, and try and fill in all the gaps and let that just rot and rot over the winter until it's all frozen up. And then, uh, and then throw some boughs on it to hopefully keep the leaves from blowing away. And then ideally in the spring, we can just haul the boughs off and uh, throw some hay on there and throw some dirt on there and plant. So, I think that's a long enough drill of potatoes for a family of four. What are we at here? Okay, we'll um, so it's, we're getting nearing the end of the afternoon. Actually, it's only like three o'clock, but the sun is coming down pretty quickly. Um, Dominic has got his cute hugel beds. Are they called hugel beds? Dominic? Ah. Are they called hugel beds? Uh, yeah, hugel mounds. Hugel mounds? Hugel culture. Hugel culture. Um, okay, so Dominic has his hugel culture mounds almost completed. Well, one of them. Um, he has, he put some logs in there earlier. He's got some old rotting wood in there. Now he's covering it with leaves and we will leave this until the spring and hopefully the idea is that it will rot over the winter and will be a nice fertile bed in the spring for us to plant, I believe, potatoes in. Um, yeah, I don't really know that much about it. I've got to learn a little bit more about it, but essentially this was his job today. And he's trying to get as much done as he can on the weekends. Yesterday was so windy, he couldn't get anything done. And today, fortunately, it was really nice. And he got a bit done, but the days are getting shorter. But it looks pretty good. <laughs> the kids don't make it any easier. So you can see here, we just left the ground as it is. It's really mossy here, but he cut a bunch of trees out of there so the sun will get there more. So we're hoping that it will be more fer fertile and less mossy come the spring. But he laid down logs and dead wood in a very long line. And then you can see here, the plan is to cover it all with dead leaves. So all of this stuff was taken, I guess, from the land, from the woods. Okay. So we haven't had to buy anything. It's all just done with materials that we have here, which is great. So hopefully it will be nice and fertile. 
so I'll set the camera back up and you guys can have a little time lapse of him finishing off the eagle bed. What do you think, bud? Good. You like it? Yeah. Great. Jeannie, what do you think? <laughs> good, good.